Chris, thank you so much. Well, around the valley, dozens of people gathering on Afton Mountain today for what they hoped to be quite a show. WHSV's Jansen Silvers was there as people tried to see some hawks overhead. Jansen. Going out to my left, my right, and straight overhead is an event to count raptors which is a fun time for all the participants who are out here eating food and counting the raptors, but it's also a very important way to keep track of the population. From now until the end of November, raptors like hawks and eagles will be migrating south right over our area. One place they really concentrate is right over Afton Mountain in Rockfish Gap. When they migrate, it is your best shot at seeing just how many are really out there. Our numbers that we record, among other hawk watch sites, are, are probably the only way or the best way that we can monitor these populations. Because once they get in their breeding grounds or their wintering grounds, they spread out. You can't, you can't monitor them. So this is, how you, this is the only way to do it. This data is extremely important. For instance, in the past few years, according to counts from across the country, the bald eagle population has been growing year after year. One cool tidbit, during peak migration, rockfish gap counters will count up to 10,000 hawks in a day. Volunteers will be out here counting the different types of raptors all the way until November 30th. Now, while today is a special event with fun and food, they say people are always welcome to come out and have some fun of their own while counting the different types of raptors. In Augusta County, Jansen Silvers, WHSB.